three things we don't like about the TVS IQ S. First, the switch gear. You'll use the joystick to operate the screen and there's a parking button that allows you to use reverse. Both of these don't work very well. The joystick constantly moves around the screen when you're trying to click something and the parking button becomes sticky after the reins. Both can be improved further. Two, the TVS, it offers modest performance as a family scooter should, but that makes the difference between economy and performance modes very limited as well. We do wish TVS had lowered the range in performance mode and given it more performance, so there'd be an active reason to select between the two modes. Right now, they're kind of similar. And three, as nice as the TVS looks from certain angles, there are a lot of gimmicky details which they could have easily done without. Details like the chrome logos, like the electric sign that lights up on the swing arm when you charge it, and the way too bright iCube logo that sits below the dash. 